Hello and welcome back to another one of my coin videos. Today it's a P.O. Box opening. Let's see what the P.O. Box has brought us today. If you want to ever send me a postcard coming up for the summer holidays, send me a postcard there and I'll send you one back. If I'm away for the day, I'll pick one somewhere, you know, something nice from where I am. If I'm still stuck in Perth, well, you'll have to make do with one of the Perth postcards. It's lovely here, but not much happens. Anyway, yeah. Some of the stuff is eBay stuff, some of the stuff is um, Discord trading. So, I do know what this is, so we'll start with this. There's quite a lot here, as you can see, plus uh, I've got a funny feeling that there'll be more arriving tomorrow morning because I've been doing a bit of eBaying over the last couple of days. Just a uh, couple of little things here or there. So, without further ado, we'll crack open, and if this has to be two videos, so be it. Anyway, let's make a start. I know what this one is. I was going to do that whole speedy uppy thing so that. By the way, got to say hi to the scissors. Thanks to Lisa for those. And hi to the cats, etc. It's tradition now. Yeah, it's got to be done. So, yeah, I'm going to speed up the video. Let's see what's inside. Well, nothing inside apart from this. And this is what I was expecting. Beatrix Potter and her little tails. Peter Rabbit. This one here is the 2019 Silver Proof. Get you a nice close up look at that bad boy. What a lovely, lovely coin. Sort in a on a good deal, so I thought, yeah, not bad at all. So I do have the the bunk version, and I was also sent a, a one from Alex as well for my birthday. So I, I saw this and thought, well, might as well make a set. Eh, I'm not going to go down the habit of getting all the Beatrix Potter and Silver. Oh no, no, no! I'd be bankrupt. <laughs> But I thought I'd uh, take a look at that. There's your insides. If you want to have a wee pause and read this, feel free to. Here we are, and the next page. <laughs> I like that one with the radishes. I do like that one. And who do we have here? That is the spin image of Roddy. Oh, wow. At least I'll be pleased. <laughs> oh yeah, anyway. Close that back up again. You can have a look at that. Beatrix Potter shares a birthday with me, so that's another interesting fact. I'll pop that back into here at the bottom. Here's my COA. Quite a high up number, but not bad. It's still, still below halfway. There we go, and there's all your details. Limited edition presentation, 30,000. Still, still under halfway, that's great. That'll zoom me, zoom me, zoom me. There we go. Nice. Nice. So, we'll pop this back away. And we'll check out what's next. All that just for one coin, but bye bye, it's what a coin. There we go. And do you remember ordering this? Yeah, it's one pound uh, St. George one, isn't it? Gibraltar 2003. Ah, I, I got it under this ages ago. Is that just arriving now? My goodness. Oh, I'll have to. Check out when I ordered that. Still a lovely little bit coin. Anyway, another one for the coin collection. I'll get that into a capsule and pop it in my change check album with the rest of them. Lovely.
I recognise that handwriting. Newton Aycliffe? It's got to be. It's got to be. Did another wee deal with Alex as well. Sent him a few of uh, Olympic coins he needed. He was very happy. He was, he was overjoyed, I can tell. By his response on the Discord, he was just like, well overjoyed. And he's sending me some more American quarters. 1993 and a Florida the mint mark Pennsylvania another um, quarter 1991 and this one here Virginia the mint mark of Pennsylvania let's have a closer look at the state quarter shall we Quadris, Quadricentennial. Oh yes, 1607 to 2007. It's a lovely, lovely coin there. And let's have a close up at the Florida one. I've got this, I've got one of these already, in, but I can't remember if it's a, the, the Denver or the Pennsylvania, but it's still a lovely, I think that's in better condition than the one I've got. So thank you, Alex. Right, finally got in, and I caught a glimpse of this as I was unraveling it. I'm so pleased it's finally arrived. There we go, the five coin set from the Falkland Islands of the Penguins. Now, just the standard penguins, I couldn't afford the collar ones, no on my wages anyway. But what we'll do, I know my camera's pretty restrictive with the tripod in the way. Let's come out a little bit in there. Yeah, that's too much, too little. That's the thing with my zoom, it's too much or too little sometimes. So if you want to have a wee bit of these, feel free. I'll pause pause the video. These are different species of penguin. And what I'll do is I'll give you a good close up. Let's have a look at the back cover first as well. Rob versus, they're all the same. Pop join mint. There we go. So, start off with King Penguin, shall we? Look at that. Lovely, lovely coin. 2018. Put that back in. And you get. There's a macaroni penguin. The obverse will be exactly the same. So I'll just focus on these. Now, this one, I have trouble pronouncing. It's either the Magelli, Magellanic or Magellanic. I think it's named after uh, Magellan, the explorer. Uh, lovely coin. I like this one. The Gintu. Lovely, lovely penguins. Who doesn't love a penguin, eh? Have them in Edinburgh Zoo, I believe. Still, I was. They had them when I was a little boy. I think we still got them, as long as, as well as pandas. That'll be the next coin, pandas. A rock hopper penguin. So, lovely wee set for me. Something to keep. I'll put that somewhere safe.
They're great. <laughs> Well, goodness me, I'll give them a 5 out of 5 for blooming packaging anyway, <laughs> there's so much of it. Um, this was a job lot of uh, steak quarters that I found. And I thought, well, I need some of these for my album. So I thought, yeah, why not? They were going cheap. Not disclosing prices, but I was quite happy with what they were going for. There's Indiana. Pennsylvania. Colorado. That's Denver. Upside down one. There we go. Kentucky. That one's. Can't see. Denver. Kansas. And that one is Pennsylvania. Arizona. That's Pennsylvania as well. Upside Downy. South Carolina. Pennsylvania. Tennessee. Denver. Now the Park Water, Harper's Ferry, that's Pennsylvania, another Florida, Pennsylvania, Missouri, Pennsylvania, Ohio, Pennsylvania, Georgia, there's your peach in the middle, I like that one, that one's Pennsylvania, there's uh, Theodore Roosevelt, North Dakota, Pennsylvania, and that's the little drummer boy, I believe that's uh, 1976, is it? Yes. That was the 1776 to 1976, the Bicentennial. Nice. That doesn't go with the Steak and Park Quarter album, sadly. But it's a nice addition. I'm going to have a few doubles as well, I noticed. So I'll probably be doing some more trading. So if there's any of those ones that I do end up with doubles, I'll add them to the... The album and do a an update video for the, the two big albums with those so yes next that's a European money bag I've never had one of these yet I saw one at work but I've never had one at home nice <laughs> As you can see there, it's got some USA State Quarters. Some more to add to the collection, so I'll put them all into a wee bag and we'll, we'll do our best to do an album video as soon as we can. Oklahoma, Pennsylvania. This one looks a bit sorry for itself. Kansas, Denver, Rhode Island. I think. I think that's a P. Yes, it is. Pennsylvania. And Maryland. P. Oh, and another Virginia. That's a P for that one. So, nice. Add them to the bag. Next.
Oh, this one's been laid out as such. This one is D mint, and this one is P mint. Nice. So, oh, these are the U.S. territory ones. American Samoa, uh, District of Columbia, which is D.C. There's Guam. This one here is the U.S. Virgin Islands. Puerto Rico. And the Northern Mariana Islands. I believe these are all exactly the same, but for the different mint. That was, that was a nice wee thing I saw. So yes, that's handy. I'll keep that as is, so I can differentiate between them for when I do the video. Here we go. It's a wee bit bent. I think it must have been crushed in the post or something. But it's a wee bit bent there. How could it have been crushed in that reinforced thing? Oh well. Anyway. What a lovely, lovely piece. Got the primate set. There's your chimpanzee. There's your obverse. Now, I was kind of uh, inspired to get this when I did a hunt a wee while ago and I managed to get back myself one of the the apes or primates from Gibraltar in one of the regular coins. There's a baboon. Come on, here we go. Gibraltar. And I thought, well, I saw this. It was part of an a lot that was going. And I thought, yeah, I've got to have that. The Columbus, red Columbus. I'm terrible at talking about this new new words. My accent doesn't do it. And there's a Barbary ape. Loads of them in Gibraltar, apparently, isn't there? Here we are. What a lovely set. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just quickly let you read these corners. This is about the red, red Columbus. A wee bit about the baboon. The chimpanzee, our closest cousins. And the Barbary ape. So, back that up. So, if you're having a hunt, have a happy one, and I hope you enjoyed seeing my collections that I got today. Uh, we'll get onto the state quarters as soon as we can, and uh, we'll start filling up those albums. Have a good one.